Hello, welcome to part two of this 8-bit debate. We are here currently in the middle of a fierce debate of Jermaine Defoe or Robbie Keane. Who is best? It's currently 4-3 to Craig. Sure. So as Craig is in the lead, I will go up to Barnaby to make his point Absolutely on Robbie Keane. Right. I've saved this point for the beginning of part two because this is something that isn't thought of good enough, well enough in football. Celebrations. Robbie Keane's celebration, yes, yeah. yes. Maybe some people would think it's a bit cheesy, but it's but, a five year old. But what I'd say about it is he was committed to it from the beginning of his career. He loved doing a roly poly and he loved pretending he had some guns that he had a piece in his pocket. <laughs> what was Jermaine Defoe's celebration? We don't he even know! Because he didn't have a proper one! He didn't right. even have a proper one. Alright. Mitch, one answer point. me this. All right. If you were a professional footballer, would you have a celebration? Of yes course. you would. Of course. So, Jermaine Defoe, ask yourself. Why didn't you have a proper? All right, so since He's all right, so since we've gone off footballing skills and we're going on to celebrations and stupid things like that, let's talk about the fact that Defoe had one of the best Spurs chants ever. Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine Defoe. He's a yiddo. Jermaine Defoe. He's a yiddo. That is one of the best Spurs chants ever. And even when we play against Sunderland, who Defoe now plays for, they still sing that chant. They How do. many Robbie Keane chants have we said over the years? Are there any memorable ones that they still sing? Uh, yes. Are there? He no. That's not the same one, Kino. That is not on the same level. That is not on the same level. They use that for everyone. There's only two Kinos. There's only two Kinos. There's only two Kinos. I just came up with that and it's really good. Listen, the foe, one of the best words ever. I'm not giving any points out there. I gave a point to Barnaby because you said Domain instead of Jermaine. If you're arguing the case for someone, you do need to. All right, all right, all right, all right. Jermaine is not hard. All right, all right. So no, I want to get the, I want to have the chance to reclaim my point. Let's talk about the fact that. Defoe scored some great solo efforts throughout his career. Robbie Keane relied on a partnership with Berbatov. Defoe would score from all oh, kinds of places. Oh, you'd rather be a selfish player than a team player. We're, we're talking about the player, not Jermaine the team. Only ever we're shot. talking about the player, not the team. Defoe scored great <laughs> solo efforts. He would score from 30 yards, 50 yards, tap-ins, even oh, headers. Sure even headers, team. and he's shorter than Reese. Sorry, Reese. Calm him down. Defoe could score all kinds of goals. And, he scored, some, and he scored some great goals against Arsenal. You remember. Let me argue, let me argue this. He did score some great goals. He did score some great yeah, goals. They, hold on. So did Robbie Keane. Right. So I'll give you a point each. Okay. But let, let me argue this just quickly. Six five to five. Let me just argue to see if I can get another point here. And I don't think you can argue against this, Mitch. Go on. Jermaine Defoe, this can be seen as a positive or negative, but personally I think it was more negative than positive. He would only ever shoot. If there was a better player in a better position, or a different player in a better position, he would still just take a touch and shoot. And sometimes miss, sometimes it would come off. Rabbi Keane would always look for his partner. What is Rabbi Keane? That's the Irish version of <laughs> you got a, You got a Rabbi, Rabbi. Rabbi. Be a That is what he's Rabbi called, Rabbi Keane. Keane. That on purpose. Everybody no, he didn't do that on purpose. Okay, just because you don't have a sense of humour, mate. Oh, don't worry about it. Right, oh, I just have a point about it. Anyway, no Rabbi was a team player. Yes, his partnership with Berbatov, the best partnership we've had in living memory, without a shadow of a doubt. You don't remember the old Jermaine and Roman Pavlichenko partnership, do you? No, they were, it was they absolutely never the partnership. rubbish. All right, they were rubbish. all right. I all think, right. I've got to say, I think the Berbatov partnership thing is going against you and bringing it up has not really helped because they were an yeah, amazing Yeah, but we're talking about players. players. We're, we're not talking about ages. partnership. We're talking I know, about it shows the team players. was diverse and he could play as a team. Okay, team all right, well, I've got a point. I'm on the cusp of writing a point down. All right, all right, all right, all right. I've got a point, I've got a point. Let's talk about the fact that the Foe can still cut it in the Premier League. Keane can't come back to the Premier League. He's over there playing soccer, which no one takes seriously, scoring fantastic goals against players that couldn't cut it in League One over here. The Foe's come back to Sunderland and scored important goals in derbies against Newcastle. You saw he the did. goal last season. That, that goal should have been goal of the season, but he it gave it to Jack Wilshaw. Goal. You're a disgrace right. match of the day. I flipping hate you. Right. Right. To Greg for his I would just Jack like Wilshaw. to say this. Our American fans are just as important to us oh, as our British fans. As a producer, how hold dare on, you try hold on. The American Craig fans Mitch on your side. here is showing Craig Mitch is showing here that he votes UKIP and I don't like him. <laughs> what? The important thing is what? Here, not whether he's gone to some whether Defoe's gone to After some, backing a black player in this argument, I vote UKIP. That makes sense, doesn't it? I can't believe he's brought race into this, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not surprised. Maybe Defoe scored a good goal for a, a dog good end goal? for a dog end rubbish. A good club, goal, right? A just fantastic goal. Money. But for Robbie Keane's not capable. Let me tell you this: Robbie Keane is still cutting it, not only in the MLS, where he's MVP that for the entire league last year, but also 
also for Ireland. Now, is Defoe playing for his country anymore? No! Uh, 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 uh. Because, because England, so because England has so Wait, wait, Did hold you on. see Kino's goal the other hold night? On, hold on, hold on. Yes, I know you did, because I showed it to you. Yeah, I did. Was it not it brilliant? Who was he playing against? He was playing against Chivas of Mexico, the well-known and well-respected <laughs> Mexican what? team. I've already given Barnaby a point for that great Keane goal, and the fact that Keane it was MVP of the whole season last year. Wait, hold on. So point. He is currently 7-6 to Barnaby. I'm going to Craig because you're hanging by a thread here. How am I hanging by a thread? All right, let's go to the facts, yeah? You Wait, know. At stop last, the stop, facts. Stop interrupting. This guy's gone off the facts all game. We're going to talk about the fact that Robbie Keane plays for Ireland and Defoe plays for England. England have much better players than Ireland. Look at the competition for strikers. Daniel Sturridge, Wayne Rooney. These are great strikers. Who's the strike partnership for Robbie Keane? Do I have a striker Wait, this is anti-Ireland. What, what did I tell no, you about I, I'm just, I'm you stating the facts. Again. I'm just stating the facts. Who else, what other strikers of Ireland got Mitch Barnaby? is a racist. Go on, I'm waiting because you just got a point Zinedine for it. Zinedine Kilban, he was playing with. Who? Zinedine Kevin Wayne Kilban. Wayne Rooney, Daniel Sturridge, Harry Kane. So hold on. Harry Kane, the first, the first to compete with Harry Kane Harry, now. I, obviously I would never say a word against Harry Kane, but basically your argument here, Mitch, is that he plays with better players, but he scores less goals. That doesn't make any sense. What are you Robbie talking plays about? With okay, worse okay. Players if the phone was Irish, he would know moonwalk what? into that island team. He would be. He would do a little you're... paddy dance, he'd river dance into that team. He would do a river dance right into that team. I mean, I would, I was gonna- By the way, I'm half Irish. I was about to give, Craig, I was about to give you a point for the fact that Jermaine Defoe would be the best player in the Ireland team by miles, but the xenophobia has lost you that point. Xenophobia? He's lost points. So let me just finish this off, easy. You remember me telling you how Robbie Keane was a fighter? He had a fight with Edgar Davids. That's how much he loved it. He fought the strongest well, pitch sure ball that's ever. Bad. They had a scrap. Oh, Jermaine Defoe. He's just. Oh, I've got my. I've got my, my BMW. I've got my what cars. About? Jermaine Defoe being two players. Actually, he doesn't care about okay. the club. He Point for Craig for the fact that uh, Robbie Keane attacked a man with an eye condition. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not no. happy with that. I don't think that's There's no evidence your that he actually was wearing his glasses at the time. <laughs> exactly, even worse. Oh my god. Uh, currently 7 all. 7 all. So this is the last point. Robbie Keane played for Inter Milan, one of the world's best How long was he there for? Most How long was he there for? clubs. He took a, a risk club. playing in European competition somewhere other than England. Now, yes, Defoe went off to America for six months for a payday. Robbie is still well, there. Oh, he yeah, yeah, did so well. They wanted rid of him. They don't even remember his name. Robbie Keane right, went to Inter Milan as a kid, took a risk, brave, very brave. Let me say that again. Brave. brave. Okay. So what about when he played, hold on, what about when he went to Liverpool for a season and was absolutely awful and then just came running back to oh, Spurs? Oh, funny you should say that, I wanted to talk back. about that. Robbie back. Keane was such a Spurs fan that he only went to Liverpool because he knew we'd get 20 million, then he'd come back six months later no, for 12 million. We made fan. 8 million. No, it's because he was a Liverpool Levy. fan. What are you talking about? We're talking about, about? Robbie Keane kissed the badge decision. every All single right. time. I've got one, one more time. point. I've got one more point. Okay, I have one more point. I have one more point. I have one more point. Let's talk about the fact that the best manager we've had since we've been in the Premier League, Harry Redknapp, absolutely loved Jermaine Defoe. And look at the judge of this is. Absolutely loved Jermaine Defoe. And he took Jermaine Defoe back and Defoe went on to score 47 goals in his short two and a half years for us since he was back. How about that? Jermaine Defoe, he's a yiddo. Barnaby, he's a saddo. Okay, I just okay. want to say one more thing. One more. Let's yes, not forget his favourite player was Ian Wright. Well, you wouldn't relate to that. As a young black man from London, he, he, can, relate. he can relate to Ian Wright. Okay. You, are, you could okay. never ever fathom you know what? what the phone's relationship with Ian Wright. It's a good thing, yeah? It's a good thing, You yeah? know what? No, you know Ian Wright is in peace. This you debate is over. I, am, I have made my decision. This debate is over. On the basis that, despite one of these players being an amazing player who could have a burst of pace and score from anywhere and be amazing. Mm. The fact that he was a team player who played at the highest level throughout his career and didn't have to go to rubbish clubs. And the fact that you're bringing Harry Redknapp into this, Galaxy. into this argument. I'm going Shelley to give the victory 8-7 just by the skin of his teeth to Barnaby. Yeah! Barnaby is ridiculous. the champion. This was my oh, debut second. as well. You lost to someone on their second. debut, pal. You don't I even know. I lost to someone with long hair. That Come means that the league is currently tied at three points all. So join us next week for another 8-bit debate where someone is going to take the lead. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. I wrote a song for you. Damian, Diego, Gold. Has out in the hole. I wrote the song for you.